hello everyone today I'm going to explain you I'm going to show you how to add all the income statement accounts uh, in the income statement accounts that we have for this company we already have subcontract advertising and promotion amortization bank charges and interest insurance miscellaneous expense occupancy cost this is the other name of a rent uh, professional fees is actually accounting and legal repairs and maintenance so these are the accounts that we already have set up we need to add or edit the other accounts that we have uh, for east west college okay so if we look at this revenue accounts we need customized training and general training so we can edit these two so this sales uh, inventory a can be renamed as customized training and sales inventory B can be renamed as general training so these are the two revenue accounts that we uh, need we don't need sales inventory C so we can try to delete it from the system okay so it has been selected so just click on this remove button and then are you sure you want to remove the account yes so it's gone do we need this sales account not really we don't have a sales account we have general training and customized training so let's try to delete this sales account also okay so this is a linked account so it cannot be deleted so that's fine so let's uh, keep it as it is uh, the other revenue we don't uh, have we don't need but uh, yeah so we'll keep them as it is we don't uh, they are not bothering us so we will not bother them uh, under cost of goods sold we need course materials purchased internal material printing cost so this inventory a cost we can rename it as course material purchased Okay, so that's course material purchased and inventory B would be internal material printing cost. Okay, so we do have these uh, two added already now. So subcontract is already there, travel, travel cost. Uh, you see we have this uh, transfer cost here we don't need this transfer cost so we can rename it as travel cost okay so our cost of goods sold is set up now variable expenses so as I said we have advertising and promotion we have amortization we have bad debt we have bank charge and interest we do need donation so let's go further down and under under this general and administrative expense we can add these donations so uh, we don't need these uh, property taxes so we can just rename it as donation okay and now insurance we already have interest on long-term debt so interest uh, and long-term debt we don't have it so let's add it here interest on interest on long-term debt okay now we need meals and entertainment so we have three accounts for meals and entertainment so let's go we should have uh, a meals and entertainment account already there so yes you see this uh, travel and entertainment so this is actually meals and entertainment we can rename it as meals and entertainment meals and entertainment but we do need uh, three accounts so this one we can name it as 100 percent and we can add the other two accounts 
meals and entertain entertainment 50% and we do need another one which is 0% so meals and enter entertainment 0% so we have all three meals and entertainment account uh, memberships we don't have set set up here so we can we can add it um, you see currency exchange and rounding we don't need that really so we can rename it as memberships miscellaneous we have occupancy is the other name of rent professional fees is the other name of accounting and legal we can rename it as professional fees we need repair and maintenance we have it uh, so we don't need to add about wages and benefits we have uh, wages and benefits account but we may need to rename them a little bit uh, so wages and benefits for salaries and then cpp ei and holiday pay so this wages and benefits is actually salary it's here sorry so it's salary seven close this one EI expense so EI we can rename it as wages and benefits dash EI wages and benefits dash EI and then this one CPP so we can rename it as wages and benefits CPP okay Wages and benefits CPP expense. So we do need one more, which is called wages and benefits holiday pay expense. So this one um, can be called as holiday expense. We can rename it. So wages and benefits holiday pay. so these are all all these um, payroll accounts are already set up so now interest income so you see they are under expense account so we can just uh, rename another account uh, in the expense side as interest interest income How about uh, this one we can we can put it as interest income Save and close. We need gain and loss. So uh, we don't need this. Um, we don't need this credit card expense. So we can rename it as gain and loss. Gain and loss on disposal. and income tax expense i think it's already set up there as income tax expense so we don't need to. this one is the income taxes expense so we can we can add this word expense here okay so now we have all the accounts that we need uh, for our income statement uh, we can see that there are some accounts that we do not really need we can try to delete them